The budget as approved by the deliberative session is uh, $27.1 million. That represents an increase to the town. Uh, we know that, but that increase is necessary. Uh, I just point to the last couple of weeks where we have a budget for $160,000 for snow and ice removal and treatment. And uh, we're pretty close to a $300,000 bill, and we haven't even added up what the police and fire departments have incurred by these storms. Um, that's a significant change to our budget. And unless something happens between now and, and the end of the year, uh, we're going to have some really severe problems. Now, is there a possibility that there will be federal funds for all of this? We are keeping track of the, of the amount of funding here, both uh, the cost for the police department, the fire department, the public works yeah. department, and any contractors that we've engaged. And yes, there is a possibility that we will be reimbursed 75% of our costs. Mm -hmm. Don't expect the state to come up with the 25%, but uh, the federal government could reimburse us the 75% uh, of our total costs. So we're keeping a very true record of what's going mm -hmm. on. Okay, good. Because I've heard them say that that's what's happening in Massachusetts, so I presumed it would be here too. Uh, yes, and, and they are. It's uh, the the total costs are run up by county. And if they exceed yeah. a certain amount of money, depending on the type of storm, mm -hmm. uh, then the reimbursement cost is 75 percent to those who document. It's and like we are prepared you know? to document. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The problem we've gotten, I think it's been said a dozen times, is that we keep on kicking the can down the road, uh -huh. and we can't do that. We just can't do it. We have too many problems to allow that to occur. The selectman's budget, or should I say the deliberative session's budget, uh, restores the selectman's budget that the selectman had asked for. It is a tight belt budget. I don't want to kid anybody. There's a lot of stuff that was removed from it. I removed several million dollars from it before it ever got to the Board of Selectmen. And the selectman removed several million more. Um, I think the department heads know very well what's going on in town. We haven't maintained our infrastructure for quite a number of years and it's falling apart. Uh, we wouldn't be spending um, four and a half million dollars for new pumping station. We wouldn't be spending, um, one. and I just signed this the other day, 1.2 million plus uh, to fix things at the wastewater treatment plant that should have been fixed 10, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we just keep on going on and on and on and on.
this budget needs to be approved. And if for no other reason, just take a look out your window and see what's outside. Uh, we have a lot of material that we have to move. We have a lot of snow that we've moved. There are a lot of roads we're going to have to maintain. Uh, and there is a warrant article on roads. Hopefully that passes. We can start fixing them, um, and, and as well as Exeter Road. But there's a 200,000-plus warrant article in there for other roads. We need to look at what our needs are before we end up with more $5 million repair projects that we can't fund. There's a limit to how much the taxpayers can fund. If the maintenance had been done, and I'm going to pick on Exeter Road, had been done mm -hmm. when it was called for, we'd be talking about doing an overlay and treatment of Exeter Road, as a, which is going to cost three or $400,000 as opposed to four, five and a half million dollars to fix it. That's because we deferred the maintenance on it. We have several other roads in town that are worse than Exeter Road and several that are on their way to being as bad as Exeter Road. And none of them are short. None of them are inexpensive to repair. We need to start doing things the right way. This budget will help us get there from here. Thank you. Now, is there a possibility that there'll be federal funds for all of this? We are keeping track of the of the amount of funding here, both uh, the cost for the police department, the fire department, the public works yeah. department, and any contractors that we've engaged. And yes, there is a possibility that we will be reimbursed 75 percent of our costs. Mm -hmm. Don't expect the state to come up with the 25 percent, <laughs> but uh, the federal government could reimburse us the uh, 75 percent of our total costs. So we're keeping a very true record of what's going mm -hmm. on. Okay, good. Because I've heard them say that that's what's happening in Massachusetts, so I presumed it would be here too. It, yes, and, and they are. It's uh, the the total costs are run up by county. And if they exceed yeah. a certain amount of money, depending on the type of storm, mm -hmm. uh, then the reimbursement cost is 75 percent to those who document. It's and like we a are prepared yeah. to document. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you.